Hi, and thanks for tuning in on a very cool May morning here. I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a trailer that I really, really like. This is a great and ideal setup for a family or anybody that's showing multiple species, showing some cattle, showing some hogs, lambs, goats, anything like that. This is a 2019 Cimarron Steerwalt Pro Series. The stock number on it is 5N181268. So we'll get into what makes this trailer so unique here in a few minutes, but we'll kind of start on how it's equipped. And I want to show you something on one of these hydraulic jacks. These hydraulic jacks are fantastic. I absolutely love them. It's push button up and down. Every once in a while though, you need to go ahead and use the manual override on these. But I'll show you how that works. On this trailer, we put a battery box with a battery disconnect right up here. Now that battery disconnect is gonna help out immensely when it comes to these hydraulic jacks and potentially a battery going dead with a, a, a light left on when you're at a show or at the house or anything like that. But when you go to park this trailer, it's as easy as flipping it up and turning this to the off position, which will make this trailer dead. But it can happen. It's usually on an early Sunday morning that we'll get a call and somebody says, hey, my battery's dead. I got to get this trailer on the truck. So there is a couple things you can do. You can typically back up to this, this trailer and plug it in with the truck running, giving it about five minutes or so. It'll give enough kind of charge to the battery that you can get this trailer at least down on the truck. And then as you're, as you're going down the road, it will work as a trickle charger and charge this battery up. But if you do need to do the manual override, you get this bar. Simron's done a great job on giving you a little place for storage on it. But what I do is I just insert it right here and then basically pump. Now this is gonna be picking the trailer up. So most of the time we need to get it actually onto the truck itself. So we need to go down. Every once in a while something will happen to where you need to jack it up and it's as simple as that but what you do on this back side there's this little knob we see these every once in a while people grab this with a pair of pliers and we can see these little grooves are kind of worn out but it's a simple you actually can grab it with your hand and twist it about a quarter turn back towards the trailer and as you can see there's kind of some red there i know that it's it's been further out well then at that point i can start pumping and it'll start dropping this trailer down. Now, once you get it onto the truck, you'll wanna go ahead and take this little knob and just turn it back towards the front of the trailer and you'll see it sucks back in there. If you go to unhook this trailer, you get home and you unhook it, if that knob is still out, give it a day or so and you'll walk out and the nose of this trailer will be on the ground. It'll just kind of work its way down. But it's as simple as that. You pump with this, pin in to go up with the trailer and then when you turn it a quarter of the turn and back towards the trailer out then you can start pumping it and it'll drop down on the truck yeah so what you do is you literally can just grab it with your hands and twist back towards the trailer and you can see it's out and then when you go to put it in you just turn back towards the front of the trailer and as you see it just sucks right in Simple as that. But that is a great thing about that, that system is, is there is a manual override if you need to. So now let's dive into this trailer. So what we did is, is we put a five foot front tack room on this and you have 23 foot in the stall area. So it's 28 foot on the floor. This is an eight wide trailer. But on your front tack room, we need five feet to put a side ramp to go into this tack room. And that's because of we want the adequate framing around this, this opening of the trailer um, for that ramp to get in here. So then at this point, this is that is a great tool to bring in your upright boxes, generators, fan carts, blower carts, anything big to where, as you can see over here, we've got another door that you can come in through. But you can imagine trying to go with your boxes and everything up and over 
and getting in here to where with this ramp you can wheel it right up. That is a fantastic option and we really, really like that on these trailers. Um, anything with the tack, we try to go ahead and put a ramp on it. Five, six foot tack, it, it really depends. Once we get in here, you got some big utility hooks for some storage. Since this is kind of a hybrid trailer, we wanted to put a pass-through door going into the stall area. So if you've got some small animals you're trying to feed in here, getting ready for the show, you can come in and out of this, this pass-through door. Up on the right-hand side is a storage tray for your plexiglass. So you can take the plexiglass out of these, these air gaps on this trailer and store them in here. I tell everybody all the time, a good thing to keep in there is a Sharpie and a roll of like painter's tape. And the reason why painter's tape is because it won't leave as sticky of a residue as like a, a duct tape or something like that will. But you take out driver side upper and you write driver side upper and you tape all those together and put them in here. You do the same for driver side lower. That way when you go to put this in, it's not a puzzle. You grab you know exactly where those pieces are going and, and back into the trailer they go. But again, a nice, nice five foot front tack room on this trailer with that side ramp. And like I mentioned, we put this man door coming in. This is gonna be on the right hand side of the trailer with a fold up step. We really like to go ahead and put another access point into this front tack room. Now granted we have one um, coming in through the stall with the, with the uh, pass-through door, but we like to put a man door on these trailers because if that ramp for some reason gets shut and somebody is in there, there's no way out of this trailer. But this is great, um, great from the standpoint of, of getting your things in here to the tack area and then also being able to show out of here. The other nice thing about this is, is with this door, with that ramp up, if for some reason you pull off to the side of the road, you have to change a tire or something like that, this here is gonna be curbside and the ramp is street side, so you can easily just jump into here and get what you need out of there from a safety standpoint. Now as we get into the stall area, we put a, a side ramp going in, and as you can see, we put a gate across here. That gate can stay there whether you you know, showing small animals out of this, showing cattle or both, which is fantastic. You can leave this open, get a lot of air flow through this trailer and keep the animals in there. So what we did on this trailer is at the front, we put four pins. Now these four individual pins, we can completely remove. We're gonna show you how to do that here in a few minutes. But as you can see, these are good sized pins. So whether you have hogs, sheep, goats, you've got, you've got these pins, are, they're large in size. These gates swing both ways, so you can bring animals in and out. And then behind you is the traveling gate. We've actually used the traveling gate as the back part of these four pins. The other cool thing is, is with this opening on this slider, you know, we'll be able to move animals in and out of this trailer very, very easily. Everything flows very, very nice through here. And then here in the back, we have this traveling gate. So again, right now, how we have it set up is it's part of holding those four pins basically in place. Now, once I remove those, up here, off the ceiling, is Cimarron's track for that traveling gate. We ran that track four foot off the back of this trailer. And at every post, every foot, I can now set that gate. And if I remove those pins, I can even slide it forward. I can store it completely out of the way against that partition wall if we'd like as well. But this, this whole design is just, it, it, again, it makes it easy to flow animals in and out. You can put your small animals up front. You can put your steers, your heifers, anything like that here in the back. And it all works really, really well. 
But then if you get to the point where you just say, hey, you know what, we're, we're not going to be taking any small animals to this show. We want to just use it for cattle. Well, that, that can easily be done. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove these. So once we get in here, basically I want to break just all the gates loose. I try to kind of keep them all going the same direction because I'm going to be able to, hit, to grab a hold of this. But this post attaches up here to the ceiling and then it sets down into the floor. What I'm going to do is on this back side there's a pin that holds it into the ceiling. I just go down and it pops so you can see it, it broke loose. So now I'm going to have Cherish kind of stand back there. And then basically I can just get a hold of this. It is a little easier if you do have a friend. <laughs> just because of the awkwardness and the size. But I'm just going to set this aside for right now. But as you can see, that whole area is out. And then on this front gate, there's another post against the partition wall. Same concept. I just drop this pin, pop it out, and out it goes. And then you have the full length of this stall for cattle if you like. And then again, you can use that traveling gate um, to manipulate your stall size all you want. The cool thing about this is if, if you wanted to add a second traveling gate to this trailer, you can. We can have another gate built based on the trailer number. We just give it to Cimarron. They know how to build it. We'll go in and we will just attach it in the back of the track. And then you have two gates. This one here is a slider. Again, the whole purpose of that was for this, this pin system and having everything flow. No threshold for animals to step over, which is great. But if on that second gate you wanted to add another slider or a swing, we can do either one. That's very easy to do. Again, in here, you have Cimarron's insulated roof, standard on everything. And then our two-way roof fence. So you get a lot of airflow through this trailer. Here's our plexiglass I was talking about. So we have two upper air gaps, and then we have a lower air gap, which is really good because again, our small animals, you know, they're gonna be down lower in this trailer. And then the chest floor of cattle will be down low as well. We went ahead and put upper and lower tie rails for you. They're on both sides of the trailer. So if you're showing out of this or need to tie out, you've got that capability with this trailer, with those exteriors. We try to put load lights on each side in the back of the trailer for you. We know that sometimes you're dealing with the dark, so we try to just put those type of things that are gonna make life easier. And then on this, you've got your standard Cimarron aluminum wheels. Those are 17 fives, and those are 16 ply tires. So you got good running gear underneath this trailer. And then here at the back, I'll just show you, you have a swing gate with a slider. On this back corner, you have all your individual light switches that'll run your load lights and interior lights. I can run them individually. So this is a 2019, this is a closeout trailer. So if you're interested or have the need for something for your small animals and your calves, we know plenty of families are always showing multiple species. This is a great, great setup that you're absolutely gonna love. You can do whatever you want with this trailer. But it is a 19. Um, if you don't need a pin system and you're looking for just a cattle trailer, give us a call. We have some of those. We have some in the Steerwalt models with air rides 
front tack rooms, we have the dirty tack setup. So we have quite a few of those trailers we can offer you as well. And then if you don't, if you're not hauling any cattle and you're just doing the small animals, we have plenty of the pin system trailers, goosenecks, and also bumper pulls. So give us a call. We appreciate you tuning in. I'll give you my number if you want to get a hold of me and want to visit about these trailers or anything else. 970-391-0337. Cherish will put that information down below. Link to this trailer as well. But if you have any questions, want to visit about some show trailers, we know that shows are going to get up and going. We know everybody's excited about that. So give us a call and thanks for tuning in.